Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm from Taylor's University. Today I'll be reading the book called Eleanor Brings the Sunshine Back from eBook Kids. So let's start reading. Eleanor Brings the Sunshine Back. Eleanor is a beautiful princess who lives with parents in a heavenly kingdom. Hundreds of flowers grow everywhere, animals are happy, and men live peacefully. Eleanor has a magical power to control the weather. Here, there are no seasons, because as her mother, Eleanor uses clouds, rain, or sun, depending on the nation's needs. Like any of the morning, when she wakes up, Eleanor calls the cool wind. Wind, give fresh air to my kingdom. But this morning, nothing happens. The wind does not rise. In the courtyard, people shout at the princess window. There is no sun. The clouds stop the flowers from growing. Princess, let's do something. Suddenly, the queen mother comes in the princess room. My daughter, we didn't realize how lucky we were to have this nature for our kingdom. Every century, nature stops and decides to give life to the flowers and water. If a good action is accomplished by the princess of the kingdom, a cloud approaches Eleanor's window. The board met. You worn out the ocean for too long. You and your people must clean the oceans. Otherwise, you will never see the sun again. Clean oceans, exclaims Eleanor. But how will I do that? The princess calls her brother Bruce. Very curious. The little prince likes to investigate and find solutions. He says, we must first find out why we are tested. Bruce calls all the people of the kingdom. He asks questions and understands that for years, the kingdom's ground and waters have been treated with contempt. We throw things anywhere and abuse our resources, says Bruce to his sister, while walking the land where dirty rivers are hidden. She has an idea. From her window, Eleanor speaks to the people. We will build a great ship with large nets to collect the waste. Later, the boat is sailing on the oceans. Captain Eleanor predicts in advance the weather on the sea. During several months, she faces the oceans and the storms to clean the sea. With her brother, they try to do everything that they can to clean up the sea. One day, after going all around the globe, the boat comes back. On the bow of the ship, Eleanor says, Cloud, we have accomplished the mission you gave us. The cloud answers, Yes, Princess Eleanor, we will move away now. But watch out, your people must take care of the nature for now. Proud and happy, Eleanor promises to the clouds, sun and wind to be watchful. People are happy, and for the occasion, a big party takes place in the kingdom. Bruce and Eleanor dance with all the subjects of the realm. And they live happily ever after. So this is the end of the story. So I personally think that reading is really important because not only it helps improve your language in terms of writing, reading, or speaking, it also helps you to discover something new and expands your creativity and imagination. So hope you enjoyed the story and thank you so much for listening.